Kalos Mark from Flight One Support. Going to show you how to update your H7. Go to flight1.com. Go to downloads. Click on firmware companion. Pick whichever Lightning version you want here. The main difference right now is just the startup logo, but uh, soon they'll have different default PIDs and stuff like that. So just pick one you want. I'm going to go with the uh, heads up. Then you download it to your f uh, folder. Just remember where you put it. Now I'm going to put it in my RC documents, Falco X files. It sounds like a good spot to put it. There, I've already got one in there. Quit save. Yeah, I'm going to replace that. And that's going to download it into that folder. Go here, show in folder. All right. Now take your H7, plug it in. Again, notice I don't have any configurator open. You don't need it. Plug it in. And it's going to show up as a. SD drive. This is the same thing as on a Mac too, the same steps. Here, look at that, there's a firmware folder. Open that. And you can see right now, it, this is the firmware it's got 4332. The one we downloaded was 4357. Take that, just drag it right over here. Copy it into this folder. Done. Uh, this is the easiest way to update firmware ever. Uh, pretty now you've got two firmwares. You can delete the old one if you want, or you can leave it there. It will always boot up to the most recent one. Oh yeah, that's it. We just updated our firmware on the H7. It's pretty sweet. Uh, unplug the H7 board. Open your Falco configurator. Plug in your H7 board. And there it is. Flight controller version 4357, latest version 4357. Make sure you do power cycle after you put the uh, firmware in there, and then it'll show up correctly. And that's it.